absolutely astounding to me the things that people are willing to share on Facebook. But as long as they willing to share it on Facebook, oh baby, I'm going to share it with y'all. Welcome to another episode of the fuckery found on Facebook. Let's just all imagine we're in a Facebook group together. And in that group, there's a post that reads, please keep me anonymous. <laughs> anonymous or not, go on tell me what's going on so I could tell my nosy ass friends on TikTok. Now she lets us know that she's in a relationship and she is so in love. He's a former friend and co-worker who they developed a relationship and they've been together for three years. Now, little Miss Anonymous goes on to tell us that her man treats her so well. He spoils her and does anything with her. Um, But there's only one issue. Her boyfriend is married. Sidebar. After dating your married boyfriend, do you side pieces go home and pray for a faithful husband? <laughs> or should I, you, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna mind my own damn business. Now, Miss Throw That Ass in the Circle says that her married boyfriend tells her that there is no love or intimacy in his marriage and that he is deeply in love with her. Now, here's her problem. Because <laughs> this man being married clearly is not the problem. He buys his wife cars, gets her hair and her nails done, takes her on trips. You know all the things that men in loving relationships do. Now, Sugar Pie knows that her and her married boyfriend will never be together. She even went so far as saying that she never even asked him to leave his wife. So she started talking to a friend from school and her boyfriend, her married boyfriend, found the messages. <laughs> baby I... now she said that her boyfriend got so upset and started questioning her on how long they'd been talking telling her that he would never do anything like that to her <laughs> you come you can't be this damn ignorant sir you literally do something like this to her every damn time you go home to your uh what what what's that word again oh yeah wife Girl, you can't be, you know what? Let me take my glasses off so you can hear me. That man is married. That man done bought his wife a brand new Lexus, gets her hair and her nails done, and takes her on trips. But according to you, he spoils you in a different way. No, ma'am, that just means you're his cum bucket. That's it. You yourself said you don't want this man to leave his wife. So why are you trying to work on a relationship with her? You know what? Your ass gonna be crying and sliding down walls and you gonna be alone for the rest of your damn life. So go on, keep working on that relationship because I promise you the moment his wife find out, your family member's gonna be working on your funeral arrangements. You mean to tell me that out of all the men on earth, Mars and Uranus. You, oh, I don't, I don't think I should say that. You mean to tell me out of all the men on all nine planets, you chose her brother to cheat on her with? Welcome to another episode of the fuckery found on Facebook. Bonus edition. Let's just all imagine we're in a Facebook group together. And in that group, there's a post that reads, I was hitting my girl's brother and she walked in on us. <laughs> oh, baby, we just gonna jump right on into the foolery, huh? He goes on to say that she didn't know that either one of them got down like that and that she was pregnant with his baby at that time. <laughs> you can't get me to believe that Jesus Devante Christ is not up in heaven right now chain smoking Newports behind us humans, baby. You know, you know what? Let me take my glasses off so you can hear me. First things first, you cheated on your pregnant girlfriend with her brother and you had the audacity to use the excuse that you were young as if that's supposed to absolve you of all wrongdoing in this situation? Young or not, 
you and her brother knew better. And you did not care, neither did her brother care about her well-being or the well-being of your child. Oh, baby, let me tell y'all how much that could not have been Angie. Do you hear me? Oh, there'd have been some furniture moving in that house. Some slow singing and flower bringing. The earth would have shifted on its axis because I would have laid hands on both you and my brother. Now, I don't condone violence all the time, but baby, some situations call for it.